it's now time for new rulings from the board. <laughs> you are not going to like these. <laughs> Sorry. All the news is bad. <laughs> In these dark days, we'd like to remember those who we've lost to violence and discrimination. Today, November 20th, marks National Trans Day of Remembrance. The board would like to congratulate Benjamin Melzer and Loaza Lammers. Loaza, how good of a name is that? Two gorgeous trans models who are launching a new campaign for Diesel. Yeah. We're still out there. The boy would like to smack our cheeks and wonder how in the Sam hell do you come back from that? At the Minnesota mom, Anna Marie Calgaro, who is suing her daughter for transitioning. Boo. Apparently her daughter started transitioning at 17 because she was living estranged from her mother and not on her own insurance, she was put on Medicaid. Medicaid paid for her hormone treatments. Since she was living on her own, her mother didn't have, in the state of Minnesota, did not have to consent to her receiving those treatments. Her mother is now suing the state of Minnesota to turn those rights back over to parents even if children are estranged. That's what's happening in Minnesota. And I tried to put a funny joke on it. <laughs> like imagine, because I imagine them all saying it to each other in like drop dead gorgeous voices. <laughs> you won't have the hormones. I will have the hormones, ma. <laughs> but only two of us are laughing because we're evil. <laughs> evil, evil, evil. <laughs> the board would like to throw our support behind longtime members and friends of the meeting Power Bottom whose show in Mississippi was met with a group of Christian protesters just the last week. Well, girls, you've made it. <laughs> they know you're coming, and they finally Googled what power bottom really means. <laughs> the board would like to offer our full support to longtime member New York State Senator Brad Hoylman, whose house at Greenwich Village was carved with swastikas recently. Brad lives there with his husband and daughter. Greenwich Village. The board would like to slow nod and quick squint at actor Jack Fallahy from How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> Who? <laughs> All right, on How to Get Away with Murder, I know we're only watching Viola Davis, but there are B and C stories. <laughs> on that show, there's a gay lawyer. Yes, that one. <laughs> He's a star, obviously. But he plays a gay lawyer on the show. And he had said that he, whenever they asked, well, are you gay in life? Because that's what we do. He would always kind of shy away from the question, which made me hate him. But then he recently came out as straight. And he said, like, I was doing it just to, like, take the question off the table. Because I feel like gay people should have more dignity than that. And I was like... Sure. <laughs> well, like I that that is so like hardcore, changing the world just subtly. That I was like, that's Boner Town. <laughs> that's what I like. I like like just malicious little games you play in your head that nobody cares about. That's what I real activist. Uh, <laughs> The board would like to thank the San Francisco Gay Men's Choir yeah. for canceling their European tour. <laughs> I'm sure Paris is really sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know some of you are probably members of it, but I, there is nothing I hate more than the Gay Men's Choir. <laughs> I know, I know, and I know they do good work and people love it. The people that are in it, they just love it. But if you told me I had to sit in an audience and watch 40 men in khaki sing My Girl with choreography, I would shoot myself in the head. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> 
I do not need a medley from Pocahontas. Stephen, you're my accountant. I know people love them and they do a lot of good work and I always give them money, but I just don't go. I buy tickets. I just don't use them. <laughs> it's better for both of us. It's better for both of us. The board would like to say welcome back to the National Organization of for Marriage. Our old friend Nam, I know, I launched a huge campaign to try to overturn it again, even though Trump, who we can, oh well, oh that's the other thing. I'm not saying his name. That's the last time you're going to hear yeah. it. Yeah. I don't mean to be, I don't, no. I'm not going to refer, he doesn't deserve the syllable. No, he that guy, the orange one. <laughs> the board would like to welcome back the National Organization for Marriage, our old friends over at NAM, who see this election is just the kind of kickoff they need. Because every, <laughs> uh, that's not even a joke. <laughs> yeah, they're back. <laughs> Really. The board would like to thank the city of Orlando for purchasing the Pulse nightclub yes. and turning it into a permanent memorial. Thank you, Orlando. What the fuck is wrong with the rest of that state? How many times does America's dick need to fuck us all? <laughs> I want to spit on them. <laughs> Not, uh, just on a map. How about a map? No, Florida. And finally, the board would like to thank Father Giovanni Colorado, an Italian priest who said that God was mad at Italy for having civil unions, so he caused a 6.6 .6 earthquake for civil unions. That's only half marriage and God almost destroyed Italy. God must be pissed because Italy told us what he looks like. Seriously, these white people. That's crazy. God's mad about civil unions. Maybe he was mad about all the molestation. Everybody hear anybody talk about that? I always, I always hate to pull that card because I don't ever want to think of myself as a gay person as if I'm doing anything wrong. Because I'm not doing anything wrong. But seriously, <laughs> two Guidos getting married. Not even Guidos, they're both named Guido. <laughs> <laughs> two Guidos getting married. God's not like, oh, what's the matter you? And then... <laughs> Fucking grow up. And finally, as a member of the family here at the Public Theater, the meeting and all those involved would like to throw our full support behind the Broadway cast of Hamilton. Don't come to my house. Don't fucking come to my house and expect not to be booed. You came to a Broadway musical? A Broadway musical? What the fuck did you expect? Go to the ballet. See how they treat you. Ballet would be worse, though those are my favorite queens in the world. Go to a matinee of a ballet in the afternoon, you will see men that only appear at dusk. <laughs> and they will show up wearing like, my outfit is entirely taupe. <laughs> They're just wearing like 27 brooches that they, they smelted together somehow. <laughs> Once for every show Ethel Merman did on Broadway. <laughs> Call me madam.
Jackson. I say, I remind you because I say this to you finally. We're still out there. We're still doing it. You'll still see a queen. <laughs> They're never gonna break that, ladies and gentlemen. They're never gonna break a queen getting ready for the ballet. And they don't need to break any of you. Please be safe. Watch out for each other. Take care of each other. Because we need each other now more than ever. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for meeting me.